we ended up getting a massive update on the RTX 50 series of graphics cards, plus a bunch of really other cool stuff. Something a bit different, wanted to cover Battlefield 2025, some stuff regarding the new Intel CPU, the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3, a new AMD upscaler, couple updates regarding Nvidia and the trajectory pattern of the stock market. But first, let's go ahead and cover the articles that I'm sure you all ended up clicking this video for. And that, my friends, is regarding the Nvidia RTX 50 series GB20X to be featuring a similar memory interface to the RTX 40 series AD10X series of graphics cards so i'm gonna go ahead and cover the video cards website article but there is a lot of people talking about this right now it's a bit late for me to be making a video but as you can see here people are posting about this within the past couple of minutes so because of that i just wanted to get a video out for you guys because it's pretty interesting to see what's going to be going on with the rtx 50 series of graphics cards and for those of you that are unaware of this man like we're talking massive gains like massive gains in performance here we're talking like going 70 percent that's crazy to see that much of a boost in performance from a 4090 over to a 5090 but let's get back to the article this is coming from an extremely reliable source so do keep that in mind this isn't just some random person talking on the internet this is coming from copite 7 kimi he's probably the like number one leaker when it comes down to rumors on new graphics cards and technology so he ends up uh let me just read the article so gamers shouldn't anticipate a 512 bit memory bus for the rtx 50 series although this is credible hardware leaker that is hinted at such a scenario previously it has now been reiterated that the leading rtx 50 gpu known as gb202 is going to maintain its 384 bit memory bus configuration once more in fact the entire gb20x gpu family is said to feature memory bus specs similar to the atx 10 AD 10X RTX 40 series. The only difference is that Nvidia is said to change the naming for one process from 04 to 05 as previously revealed. And then Copite 7 Kimi over on Twitter ends up stating, although I still have fantasies about 512 bit, the memory interface configuration of GB20X is not much different than the AD 10X. While the RTX 50 series GPUs are to retain similar, if not identical, memory bus specs, there is going to be an upgrade from GDDR6 to GD or G from GDDR6 slash GDDR6X to GDDR7 specs, now officially confirmed by JEDEC. Also keep in mind about all the AI stuff that NVIDIA has going on right now. Forgot to say to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. I hate saying it as much as you probably hate me saying it, but if I do not say it, like 1% of you will actually do it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I told you guys I'm going to be honest here. This is a little bit confusing to me. This makes a lot more sense to me. But this one confuses me. Um, but if any of you can actually explain this, then feel free to do so. We do have a little breakdown here. This is over on the Tech Radar website, and there's a, it's about a startup claiming that the Radeon RX 7900 XTX GPU offers a better value than NVIDIA's H100. 30 37 percent of NVIDIA H100 compute compute performance. So, although it's not like NVIDIA level, it is also literally thousands and thousands of dollars cheaper so anyways so all the battlefield 2025 rumors and leaks so far i don't really like uh fps games i'm not the biggest fan of them uh, to be honest dude i don't really like i don't the only games that i really 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 enjoy are platformers and like indie games for some reason i don't know i don't know if it's the simplicity of them and they're just very easy to uh whatever but youtube is out so and let's get back to the, the battlefield series is in a tough spot due to recent disappointments with potential turnaround in 2045 release and return on root gameplay the next battlefield game is rumored to feature classic gameplay elements in pre present day settings possibly launching with a free-to-play battle royale mode uncertainty surrounds the next battlefield title with leaks pointing to 2025 release window and possibly gameplay gameplay changes revitalization and then they just whatever it's, it's about to go over a ton of information on everything that we know about this game 
so I'm not going to go over all of that stuff because I've already ran my mouth way too much throughout this video. So the Intel i9 14900KS rumors reach critical mass with new photos leaking and then bio screenshots that are going to end up raising your eyebrows. So if we go over this article, there's let's go ahead and check these uh, images out. Of course, I'm going to have to open them. All right, let's see if we can spot it without. OK, so we got 41 Celsius. And I was pretty quiet there. I was trying to figure that stuff out. So the need for, and then the cost of quote unquote speed. Oh, that's actually something too. The prices for this right now are insane, dude. Uh, actually, I have the article open, right? 20 or 30% over MSRP right now, if you pre-order it. So something in the order of 400 watts of power. See, dude, oh my God. Imagine pairing this with the H100. The, uh, um, no, not that one. Where is it? This one. Imagine pairing it with an H100. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> your, your apartment wouldn't need heat for for nothing. If you live in Alaska for the rest of your life. But overall, dude, this I'm actually I'm I can't wait to get this thing. That's going to be crazy, dude. So actually something pretty cool about 14th generation is that let's actually go to because this is actually going to be a really long video uh let me just quickly show you here snapdragon 7 gen 3 versus snapdragon h gen 3 leak reveals differences between them their upcoming chips and then this is the, the the information right here and then this is all the other information if anybody wants to pause the video and read it um it's i, I mean it's not really into pc i just thought it was pretty cool it's like we literally i can't wait like i'm i'm genuinely curious as to like when we're uh gonna get to a point where we have 4k gaming pcs in our pocket <laughs> that oh my good and then we have goggles we have little goggles which still blows me away that we haven't gotten a vr headset that literally just like goggles whatever or like a ski mask type of vr i'm surprised that we haven't uh gotten a not bulky vr headset apple couldn't even do it um but anyways this right here new amd oh so i there's okay because i don't want to forget about this um there is a new nvidia driver and then there's also something else let me go ahead and uh go to my recordings here so that i can show you guys whatever the new control panel the fps counter at the hold on see my fps it's not working for any game you see how it says na that's for every single game that I have. For some reason, it doesn't want to work. And it's actually super annoying. But I'm going to go go back to my uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. But this game is wicked fun. For those of you that want to know how I do this. <laughs> I just record gameplay and I, I, I put it over there. I swear I don't have nobody here playing that game. <laughs> um... <laughs> But uh, AMD video upscaler is arriving for the 7000 series GPUs. So what I was going to say is there is a new day pass, quote unquote, for NVIDIA's GeForce Now streaming service. It's like eight bucks every single day. And I don't, so I don't really understand why people are complaining. I, again, dude, look, I'm just being honest because I run a business, okay? And I'm a business myself. So I understand how businesses operate. But when you think about this, man, okay? eight dollars a day multiplied by 30 okay what how, how much is that do the math in your head right now eight dollars a day times 30 that's 240 dollars a month now if we take 240 dollars and we multiply this by 12 we now get something in the three thousand dollar range so you just got a 4k gaming experience for 12 months in other words nvidia basically just barely rented you an entire computer high-end computer in order to play games nvidia is a businessman they they're they're of course they're trying to make money let's say i charge people a hundred dollars a week to rent a four thousand dollar computer i literally just broke even that year when the next year new parts are going to come out and now i'm stuck with this used computer that has probably been beaten to crap because it wasn't owned by the owner renting the computer. 
so i don't i and i'm not saying it's it's like cool bro like i'm not saying like oh game pass is only 10 bucks oh ps plus is like whatever 30 bucks and oh whatever this and that because yeah man there, there are some companies out there but i just don't understand it i don't as so when you take this day pass eight bucks and then for a full month it's twenty dollars that's a marketing that's a marketing uh thing so they, they they make an offer that's like oh okay so that's eight bucks for one day but then i can pay twelve dollars more and get it for a whole month if you actually pay for the eight dollar version to, to try it for a day that allows you to try it for a day and then if you want to upgrade to the $20 version, do it. But NVIDIA is not just going to be like, oh, okay, well, we're, we're just going to have a $20 version and then a 75 cent version. You can just rent rent the monthly th subscription for the exact same price. That's not how businesses operate, bro. Anyways, guys, this was a wicked, oh my God, 45 minutes long. I'm going to go ahead and end this video right now, guys. I, I'm i going to have to edit this way down. That's a long video. I just, it's hard for me to not talk about stuff. How do you like, when you're talking to friends and you're just interested, do you, are you like, oh, I just barely saw a Ninja Turtle movie. It was really cool. Let's move on to something else. No, you talk about, oh, this is a cool Ninja Turtle movie and this happened and that happened and then this happened and because of that, this happened and this was my favorite character and then they did this, which led to this and then they got into a relationship because of this and it's like, yo, that's how you explain the movie you just enjoyed so much to your friend. You don't just be like, oh, I really like this movie. It was good.